Today on the channel, we're going to learn how to play On Fire by Van Halen. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to play On Fire by Van Halen. This is a great song off of Van Halen 1 and uh, it's, it's broken up into just a few segments. So I'm going to take this song segment by segment and explain each part. I'll play, play each part before I uh, demonstrate how to play it specifically. And uh, we're tuned to E flat. The reason we're tuned to E flat is Van Halen tuned to E flat on their first uh, albums, first few albums with David Lee Roth, and if you play to the backing tracks that are available on YouTube, you'll need to be in E flat. So we might as well play it in tune with the record. All right, so this song starts off with this introduction riff, and it goes. All right, so let's break that down. Basically, we're, we're in the key of E, so we're gonna take these, these power chords and we're gonna go. So which is, it's an E, a D, a C, and then back to a D and then to a B. You can add the sixth, the low sixth string on this as well and make it sound a little bit meatier like. I don't think Eddie did that on the record, but live it would probably sound cool. Um, so anyway, that's that first part. And then he takes the, on that B chord, he takes that low, uh, I'm hearing it, you know, I learned these things by ear, but I hear what he's doing is he takes that second fret on the A string on this B and he goes. So it sounds like that's what he's doing. So. Then he repeats that phrase. It sounds like there's an overdub guitar in there that starts going. And what I do is I take the G string and I, I ascend up the G string and I'm alternate picking. So what I'm doing is I'm going all the way up to the 19th fret. You can take it to the 18th fret and um, and bend it up half a step too so and put a lot of vibrato on it and, and that's the very uh, introduction to the song okay and then he does that famous uh, little harmonic thing that always reminded me of a fire truck it I don't know if it, it reminded everybody else of a fire truck but he goes And the way I hear him doing that is he's, he's palm muting. So you're resting the, the palm of your hand on the bridge of your guitar. So you're not getting a lot of string noise. And, and there's a harmonic that he's hitting on the high E string on the fifth fret. So that's your, that's the, the really high note you hear. And it sounds like he's, he's kind of hitting harmonics on the fifth fret when he's palm muting. He's on the G and the B string. And he's, when he's hitting that, that harmonic, it's like he goes, he goes two strokes, palm mute, then, and then two strokes on the harmonic. So that's how I hear it. On to the next riff. The next riff is is uh, is really cool. He's, it sounds like this. So in slow motion, that riff is. It sounds like this. So 
what I'm doing is I, I'm hitting the low E string and then I'm hitting the E on the seventh fret on the A string. And that's the D string on the fifth fret. And we're riding back down to the, the A string on the seventh and fret and fifth fret. So in essence, he's, he's, he's outlining the D, the E to the D. So if you wanted to dumb it down a little bit, that's what he's doing. He's going to... But he's doing a riff on it. And the next time he goes... He goes to an A. I kind of like going to the A down there just because it sounds a lot meaner. So on the record, he Eddie usually played his power chords in the middle of the neck. I've, I've always noticed that. Probably for simplicity, but I like to play stuff down near the, the nut. I think the intonation sounds better. But anyway, that riff is... Then he goes, and then he does this riff, he goes, so what we're doing is we're doing harmonics on the 7th and the 5th frets, so we're going to take the, the harmonic on the 7th fret, on the high E, and then the G string on the 5th fret, and then the 7th fret B and G. And then you gotta slam that A. You gotta really stick it, put a stinger on it. So in slow motion. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. It's pretty wicked. All right, so then during the verse, um, Eddie used to just slamming on this E and the D. So what he does on that verse is he's going... So what I'm doing there is E, I'm chugging along on that, that E power chord. In slow motion I'm going. He goes back to that verse thing, if you notice. And then he does this little lick where he's on the G string on the ninth fret and he bends it up. He bends it up to that 12th fret. That's the same bend he does in You Really Got Me at the end of the solo where he goes. So that's a, that's a great note and a great lick to remember in the key of E. <laughs> because that tonality is totally a, a Van Halen tonality. Let's do that vibrato. So from that verse part again. If you noticed, I put a little thing in there where it was 5-3, Five three on the A and the G and the E, and that's in the middle of that little chugging thing. And then the second time he goes through that is. And then he goes up to the E minor pentatonic and he's on the 12 and the 15 on the B string. He does that little whammy bar dip as he's hammering on. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and then he does this little... Thank you. 
Okay, so that little thing right there, what, what he's doing, he's just going F sharp. He's going for, to a G to an F sharp. He's going to this um, C sharp. He does the D to a C sharp again. I've seen it also like... So slow motion, I'm going to show you the easy method. Eddie, Eddie played easy patterns. It was his rhythm, uh, his rhythm and his feel that made it sound complicated. And it was complicated. His rhythm and the way that he felt his groove is what makes these songs awesome. I mean, yeah, they're written great. They're performed fantastic. But sometimes the parts aren't that difficult. It's, it's how he executed those parts. So um, don't always think that, gosh, it was Van Halen. It had to be like this super complicated thing. Truthfully, he, he played very simplistic patterns and shapes, but he put them together in a super complicated, uh, unorthodox uh, manner in which he attacked those notes. <laughs> So that was that's called musicality and making it speak. So that's that's why Eddie's the king, right? Okay, so pretty simple transition and then the chorus is And he relies on the echo. He's got that little echo plex that it responds. So what he's doing there is he's he's going. It's just G D A. But he's playing it up here. So where I'm at, I'm on the ninth fret on the D string. I'm on the seventh fret on the G string. And I'm on the eighth fret on the B string which is a G, cowboy G. So, Eddie liked to play broken chords because uh, they sounded cool and they weren't stock. They just weren't like what everybody else was doing. So what we're doing is we're taking that G and then we're gonna play D, which is just the seventh fret on the D, G, and B string. And then that same chord shape that was the G, we're gonna slide it up two frets which is an A, and you play that phrase two times, or four times, while Dave is just singing, I'm on fire. Okay, and this is, this is probably the hardest part of the song for me. For whatever reason, my brain does not like to do this, but he goes to this little transition part that goes. I'm gonna play it slowly because I'm struggling with this tonight. So what we're doing there is F sharp minor, to a G, to a C, sus2, and a B sus2. But what Eddie's doing on that, the way that I hear it, he's going, he's going low E, kind of like he's just going E to F sharp. We're just chugging that low E. So I want you to take this chord shape for F minor and go, and then just play the top two strings on that second fret. And we're skipping the middle strings. We're not going to play the, the D and the G string at all. We're going to go. And then he goes. And then it's open B and E string. So he's playing a G, but it's, it's a G with an open E and B string. That's what it sounds like. And then he goes. 
so that he's going to open A to the C, the C chord. And we're playing the C shape like a C sus2, but we're going to go kind of like we did that F sharp, but we're going to do the C the down to the B. So I hope that makes sense. In slow motion, it sounds like. And he does that four times. Okay, so after he does that four times, there's a similar lick that goes. He does that four times, and that that particular riff is just F sharp G C B. So he's outlining that same riff, just doing it with single notes. So we're we're playing it like this. And that one's pretty simple once you get the, the note selection memorized. All right, and then he kicks off into this guitar solo. So the guitar solo, the way that I hear it, and the way that I've seen him play it live, live I think it's a little different than the record. Um, Eddie did, Eddie did uh, some pretty cool tricks with patterns uh, on the first Van Halen record, probably through the first... Sorry that I'm sniffling. I've been sick all week. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really struggling here, but I'm going to get this lesson for you uh, done tonight. So this lick is basically um, several patterns that are repeated. There's different patterns I'm going to show you. There are, some of them are a little different, but most of them are the same. And he just ascends through a couple different patterns up the neck until it does the the finale, the little finale at the end. So the first part of this lick goes like this. All right, we're on the fourth, fifth, and seventh fret on the A string. And I want you to memorize this, this pattern, the sequence. So what Eddie does, he does that, that pattern there. So if, when you memorize that pattern, apply that same, that same thing to each, each symmetrical lick that you're doing. So this first one goes. What I'm doing is I'm hammering on. I'm only hitting one time on this. I'm only picking once and, and I'm hammering on three notes. And that last one I went then picked and then picked it up. So in slow motion. And then the next one is and this this pattern is is uh, starts on the fifth fret and it's seven and nine. So this first one is is basically these three frets going up, then this one is these three frets. So and then the, the next phrase goes just like the first phrase, but we're up here on the it starts on the sixth fret. Then it gets a little bit different on this section. It goes. He has this little pause. So it sounds like this from the beginning. So what that is, is it's, it's 7, 9, 11, then 8, 9, 11 on the D, and then it ends on the 8 on the G string. So from the beginning up to that that stop, it goes. Okay. 
All right, cool. Now we're gonna go up to the, the ninth fret and just like that very first lick we did, we're gonna do that up there starting on the ninth fret. And then we're gonna go up to the 10th fret and repeat the second symmetrical lick that we did. And then we're gonna go up to the 12th fret and go do the same thing. And then go. And that's the B string. And he's hammering on up here on the 16th fret. 12 to 16. So from the very beginning we go. The song just fades out on that chorus. All right, so there you go, On Fire by Van Halen. I hope this lesson was informative and it guided you through this song uh, as uh, easily as possible and it helps you out. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, consider subscribing, comment below, and uh, as always, have a great day. Peace out.